okay so now a new topic related to the last lecture which was done on compound compression and uh, this topic is related to it as well so if you see the compound compression then you will be able to correlate to what i am saying now on this lecture of flash intercooling because you know uh, if we use two compressors or more compressors then only we can think about intercooling you know intercooling intercooling is done to cool down vapors coming out of the first stage compression and before entering to the second stage compression cooling is done so in between the first second stage and first stage if cooling is done in between that is known as intercooling so if it is with the help of something which is known as a flash chamber as discussed in um, uh, compound compression uh, then it will be known as flash intercooling now why why do we go for flash intercooling because you know it further decreases the work of compression um, at the stage 2 that is wc2 will most probably decrease and uh, second definitely is uh, that if the wc decreases work of compression decreases the cop of the compound compression vapor compression system will also increase the mm, compound compression system increases as well as the cop of the uh, vapor compression system using compound compression will increase now when we talk about that then we have to make certain changes in uh, the previous figure uh, which we mm, have understood in compound compression and that uh, those changes are that we will not now connect the first stage compressor uh, so this is the first stage compressor and this is second stage compressor so we will not directly come connect the first stage compressor outlet and the outlet from the flash chamber and mix it and then send it to the second stage compressor instead what we will do is we will rub this up mm, and uh, maybe it will not be totally rubbed out but we will rub it up and uh, mm, mm, hold on so this pipe connections is to be cleared off and uh, therefore what will happen is that uh, you know, from the first stage compression we will just feed the vapor coming out of the first stage compression to the flash chamber in the liquid state this is the liquid state you remember this is the vapor state so whatever is coming out of the first stage compression which was two so it was from 1 to 2 uh, so first stage compression is not mixed it is coming to the flash chamber and where it is coming to the flash chamber in the portion where which is liquid state not the vapor state this is the vapor area this is the liquid area so the vapor will be coming here and you know the vapor will be mixing with the liquid here and vapor are at a higher temperature and liquid is at a lower temperature you see uh, this is enthalpy of the vapor coming out of the first stage compression and this is the enthalpy of the liquid in the flash chamber you see the great difference between h2 and h8 h2 is very high and h8 is very low so what will happen is this will this vapor will lose its heat it will lose its heat lose its heat and then it will it will lose its heat it will lose its heat here in this liquid which is in eight condition this is eight condition let me clearly write down because it has to have no confusion this whole chamber is at six condition because that's why i am written in the center and lower portion is at eight condition upper portion is at seven condition it is eight and seven Six is consisting of liquid and vapor. You remember from the compound combination. So two is getting 
in contact with it a lot of heat dissipation will take place and then what will happen is finally from this mixture whatever is mixed up this liquid vapors are coming out and this vapor coming out is now getting connected here you know? so this connection in between has been broken and 2 is now coming out so 7 stage this 7 instead of 3 which was written here only 7 state conditions 7 will now be entering compound compression stage number 2 you understand you see from first stage it is coming to the liquid state it is therefore getting cooled down and the minimum maximum cooling that it can do is when it escapes the liquid layer it will be saturated state condition 7 only so this vapor will cool down it cannot become liquid but what will happen is it will the 7 vapor will be only now getting cold so we have to rub this off also so we have to rub this off and 3 will go off and this line will also go off so 4 here will now vanish from here and what will happen is we will have to start take it 2 at all the 2 will become 7 so there will be no 3 and from 7 from 7 it will become 4 uh, there is number sequence which should have been changed but I am not changing it for the sake of just converting the way compound compression into uh, flash intercooling. So what has happened instead of 2 becoming 3 it has become 7 you see this amount of difference has been achieved extra extra amount from 3 to 7 excess amount of uh, cooling this is cooling effect this line shows cooling effect so earlier it was cooling was here because of mixing now it is not mixed it's going to the liquid state so it is coming to the point 7 you know and then from 7 the compression is taking place not from 3 to 2 so further further decrease of uh, compression work is now happening at the stage number 2 so second stage cooling is further decrease and therefore we have the uh, WC so WC2 will change and WC2 will be what equal to M dot total M dot total and actually in total is going to the second compressor will be from H4 minus H7 you know H4 H4 minus H7 so the flash intercooling flash intercooling this is this the flash chamber is, it is going to the flash chamber and therefore when it is entering so intercooling is being done so it is not becoming stage condition 3 or it is directly cutting coming and becoming state condition 7 this type of structure which is using compound combustion but it the outlet of the first stage compressor is being sent to the chamber of the flash where liquid state is known as flash intercooling okay and therefore what will happen is the uh, thing which has happened now is um, as S2 MR1 is cooled to saturated condition that is state condition 7 WC2 will decrease as I told you WC2 will decrease okay but I must uh, tell you something more uh, as intercooling is done in flash chamber there is more amount of vapor in flash chamber and less amount of liquid moving from the flash chamber to the evaporator so MR2 and MR1 gets affected MR2 increases and uh, Mm, MR2 because the liquid will now generate vapor MR2 will be, there is no 
MR2 as such now. It is totally uh, total MR. So MR2 concept has gone out. Uh, only total amount of you know whatever is coming out of seven. Water is coming out of seven is not only the vapor which is escaping from the flash chamber but also vapors which are coming from so from here the vapor is coming from here the vapor is coming and this point 7 is representing the total MR so MR2 is only from 6 to 7 MR1 is from 3 to 7 from 7 it is MR total so, and therefore the amount of liquid because you know, vapor is coming out and this also a certain amount of slight increase from this side will happen and slight decrease of liquid from this side is happening maybe very minor but uh, compared to the amount of work of compression that we get decreased because of flash intercooling is beneficial so WCT is important and it benefits to use compound compression with flash intercooling. It was a short lecture, but it completes one of your topic called flash intercooling compound compression vapor compression system. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.